Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. How is a person who gives courage? How is a person who gives courageous? I think there's a comma missing there. How is a person who gives courageous? The essence of this is uh, built into what I mentioned previously. But a person who gives is fighting the internal nafs or the lower animalistic self and says to the nafs, no, I am not going to hold on to what you consider to be valuable because you are not understanding the divine command that has been given to me by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has given me this facility of sadaqah from the word sidq to show my truthfulness, the truthfulness to my faith. I claim la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So to put my money where my mouth is in a sort of literal way, I give sadaqah because it's a testimony, it's a truth, it's an authority, it's a certificate of what exists within, within me. The nafs, the lower animalistic self, built into it is selfishness and stinginess and miserliness, but built into it is also generosity and care and concern and love. And by nurturing those good qualities and keeping the bad qualities at bay, you have essentially fought the most difficult battle, and that's the battle against oneself, the battle against shaitan, the battle against the nafs. That battle for which we've been training in the month of Ramadan, we are now putting that into practice. And in this way, the person who gives is a very courageous person because they fought the ultimate battle. And the ultimate battle is the battle against themselves, the battle against shaitan, and the battle against the evil in the environment around us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah